how's it going everybody this is always back with another video on the channel today i'm going to be talking about a few commands of git which i think not many people are aware of like as a software developer git plays an important role in our daily routine it can help developer to work faster if you are familiar with some advanced git commands This command we are going to take a look at is going to help us to commit all the changes that are stacked or on track. Before I knew this command, I was basically checking git status, git add dot, which basically adds everything which are modified. What I'll do next is git commit dash m and then the commit message. So instead of using this git add dot command, you could directly do git dash am and then commit message so what it's going to do it's going to grab all the untracked file as well which are changed and then commit those with the message that you specify there are some scenarios where we have to add changes to more than one branch for example if there are two versions and we support both of them we should commit changes to both branches Let's have two branches, branch A and branch B. Instead of committing in both branches manually, we would actually use a git rebase command. For example, I am in main branch and I would like to create a branch from, let's say, a different branch. You could go and git check out branch A, right? Once you check out, then you could do git rebase branch B. So what will happen in that branch A will look like it was branched from branch B. I've also been in a situation where I have forgotten what little change from committing in the last commit. And when that happens, then you can actually do another commit for such a small change that can make mess in your Git log. But what you could do is you could actually add changes to your last commit. So if I do Git log, you'll see my last commit was this initial commit on this master branch, so it's main branch. So what I could do if I wanna add changes to the previous, I could first of all check the status and these are the changes that I wanna to add to the last commit. What I could do is git add dot, okay? That will add all the changes to the track and then I could do git commit dash dash amend dash dash no edit. Okay, so once you have all the track files, this command will commit changes to the previous commit that you had. And using no edit flag allows us to apply changes to a last commit without modifying the commit message as well. If we like to remove certain file that has been committed to the branch, you can use git reset command. So if I go ahead and then say add dot git ignore, okay. And I could do git reset. Actually, let's check the git status first. And you see the git reset had a file. So you could do is git reset dash dash soft. And you could do head and then fill assign. Enter. And then let's take a look at the status. This will bring the committed files to the staging area. And then we can specify exactly which file to remove. If you want to see our git history like a graph and this can be done easily with one command usually what i found is people will install an extension something like this git graph extension i'll just go and search for it and i do use it myself so if i install this and we'll go to this button and then click on this git graph and this will give me a graph well it's much nicer graph to look at in ui but you could also use terminal to produce a similar kind of result so do git log dash dash all dash dash decorate and then you can do one line then graph enter and then you'll see graph
This command is going to help you to analyze at one particular file and you could see when this file was changed. For example, this app.ts file, I would like to check when this was changed and what has happened to this file since it was created. So I'll use this git log command dash dash follow flag dash dash and then file name. So I'm gonna go into source app.ts. You could see when this file was changed and all the commit log is available to you now. I'm going to talk about reverting all the local changes. There are different ways to remove local changes depending on a scenario you have. If you want to revert the changes to your working copy, you can actually do git restore dot. If you want to remove all the unpublished commits to your master branch, then you could do git reset command. If you want to revert a change by a commit use, you could use git revert and the commit hash. If you want to remove untracked files or directories, you could do git clean dash f, or you could also do git clean dash fd for directory. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked this command. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Cheers.